welcome to the code cool my name is anirudh kudalkar and i'm app developer at the code cool today let's discuss what do you mean by fragments in the android so fragment is very important concept if you want to design some multi pane ui or many things you can do with the fragments so fragment is bit important concept so we'll discuss the fragment in detail let's see first first what is the definition of the fragment fragment represents a behavior or the portion of user interface in an activity you can combine multiple fragments in a single activity to build the multi pane ui so here important thing is multi pane ui and reusability of the fragment okay some people call fragment as sub activity also right now likewise the activity fragment is also having some life cycle see this so activity is also having few life cycle on create on start on resume on pause on stop on destroy on restart likewise fragment is also having some life cycle on attach on create on create view on activity created on start on resume then fragment is alive on pause on pause on stop on destroy view on destroy and the detach so this would be the little bit life cycle of the frag fragment but make sure that there is a no existence of the fragment without activity activity is very important in case of the fragment because fragments are loaded on the top of activity so activity would be the container and fra fragments would be floating on the top of activity so that is very important one more thing about the fragment to note it that android introduced the fragments in the 3.0 that is api level 11 right but what if i want to run the fragment on 2.2 2.0 kitkat right on, on the kitkat it would be running but i want to run the fragment on the gingerbread or the froyo what what how how exactly should i do so 3.0 is nothing but the honeycomb so you you have something called as support library we'll discuss or we'll see how to work with the fragments using the support library but if you want to create the fragment ui likewise see the sorry so if this is my tablet and onto the tablet if you want to have something called as this menu and after that if you would like to have container of something and if you want to create such ui you can use the fragment fragment is the reusable component you can use the fragment anywhere means once you created the fragment for one project and if so consider that if you have created some login fragment for one activity you can use same login fragment for another activity right in another project so that is a reusability of the fragment you can use that thing so this is a little bit theory behind the fragment right so many methods are there we'll see at the time of coding you'll come to know which methods to override so here are the primary methods which are nothing but the on create on create view and on pause usually you should implement at least the following life cycle method so implementation of this little bit important in different different cases if you want to register the broadcast receiver you you might need to override on start as well as on stop so that is dependent on typical li need right it is dependent on typical li need so that that's it about the theory of the fragment if you want to read it in detail you can come up with this page and you can read in detail so in the next tutorial what we are going to see how to implement the fragment exactly in the android activity right there are two ways first thing using the fragment tag or second thing you would be having one frame layout and into that frame layout you would be pushing the fragment that would be the some dynamic way we'll see in the next tutorial and thanks for listening the fragment stay in that touch so you can get the next concept 
of the fragment thanks a lot